Yo, 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 what's going on, say Yuns? It's your boy, John Johnson, coming straight out of King Slayer Gaming. Maybe we back at it again with another MSF Marvel Strike Force video. This time around, I wanna go with another refresher of the vlog, get us prepped for this week upcoming. And then also, I got some really dope information about all the star levels of the characters pertaining to the extreme x-men baby so we gonna already know what we looking at as far as the unlocks and baby we gonna already talk about it right off the gate nightcrawler is a one star unlock yo i just want to get into it baby so hey if you ready to get into more and more about the extreme x-men make sure you're hitting up that subscription make sure you're hitting up that like as well bro i'll be doing a lot of different msf content as well as professional wrestling content here at the channel baby so hey if you're ready to get into the extreme x-men and dissection of the more and more weekly blog that we got here baby hey let's get it we are the original junglies from 19 wadi ayasa can't get to call them lack of freedom youngster there is no original more original than this all right, baby. So let me just go and run right into it. We already talked about it last video. Strike time is going to be here. Hey, I just want to say anything we covered in the last video is still up definitely go check that out it really goes through a little bit more in depth about the extreme x-men that was me coming right off the cuff of watching the live strike time stream and i had a lot of information just trying to come off the cuff with it and i kind of skipped through a lot of this blog that's why i wanted to make this video so that way i can cover some of the different events that are going to be happening sporadically throughout and then also i didn't even talk about the initial release date of nightcrawler so we got to cover that you know what i mean so we already got december 11th that's where this really kicks off this is really just going to go from december 9th and through december 15th all right so it's not really going to be covering too many days but at the end of the day Day, this video is gonna come out on the 10th but it's gonna be late so this is really gonna be your kickstarter that you're probably gonna be seeing on the 11th which is right when this drops so on the 11th we're gonna be getting x-force frostbite we can use iso 8 campaign energy and play cosmic crucible battles yo you do get more points for sub six and i understand we talked about them agnosium here on the channel joint baby superior six is that score why you know what i mean so hey we talked about it upgrading them i've had no regrets from the jump they destroy cosmic crucible they destroy war they destroy raids this team is legit and now you get more points towards this milestone by using superior six in cosmic crucible so that's already gonna be hot off the cup then the next joint we got blizzard blitz daily web milestone you just got to earn blitz credits you know what i mean so you're going to be using um blitz continuously you can save up your rewards i believe there's a blitz going on right now let me check it out actually if there's something that they actually have going on give me one second because i'm in game and i just want to check real quick to see if we do have a blitz going on i believe we do yes we do we have some blitz going on and our awards are there but they're not really going to be blitz credits so it's really not really going to help you too much if you really do any of the extra blitzing with the red star rampage and the orb assault but at the same time i will be most likely doing those because they're those are going to pretty much phase out before we end up getting this web well not the web milestone but the actual blitz milestone itself so that's the only thing that's what is not like the best for us but at the same time just pay attention to start earning blitz credits at least paying a little bit more attention to blitz when this joint does pop off then we got sub-zero warfare alliance event that's going to be battle and alliance war earn alliance credit and earn ally supply orb fragments bet okay cool so we don't really know what exactly everything is going to be on this tier list as far as the milestone rewards but at the end of the day we just know what we got to do to get that done and then we're also going to be having a cyclop blitz bet all right and what who, who are you using in war who are you using in war Sin six come on dog come on dog you already knew that was coming all right so then we do over the rainbow bridge this is going to be going on december 15th over the rainbow bridge quick rumble we just got a blitz with bifrost bet honestly 
and you'll see this about my roster dog i skipped three teams that you will probably never really have a chance to see built on this roster before the year is over um, and that's just because I took sporadic breaks in between playing. And at the same time, I really prioritize teams that are helping me in, in the now. And I see no reason to go back and build these three teams. And I'm going to say them out right now. Um, I do not have my Bifrost built up. I do not have my new Avengers built up. And I do not have my Nowhere built up. Now, understand, I feel Bifrost is the best of those three teams. I do have them built up to an extent, but they are not anywhere near usable um, and i definitely understand i need to upgrade them but with how fast the raids are moving and where i am in my raid node right now i don't really need them and i understand they're definitely the best mystic raid team in the game but for me dark hold is holding it down entirely in my raid nodes i am autoing every single raid i have in my mystic doom raids um we're not doing encouraging because we not there yet that's more of the end game players we not there we in mid game i'm just pointing out what pertains to me all right so understand a lot of the advice and things that i'm giving i'm not trying to tell you how to play the game i'm just explaining to you how i play the game through how the limitations are with the nodes that i'm in right so for example i don't have incursion unlocked at all when it comes to the rates we don't do incursion rates so when i'm using who's already dominating incursion raids in pegasus they auto all my raids no matter what the raid is and then on top of that i also have dark hole built up and they've been able to auto everything so i don't have bifrost built up but if you do you're gonna use them December 15th. All right, then the biggest thing on December 15th that you need to know, forget the Bifrost stuff, put that to the side. Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler debuts December 15th. That's when you're gonna see the offers in game. I'm telling you, save up your power course now. Why? He's a 15 shard unlock. That is right. He is a one star unlock character. We had this confirmed because we got multiple people playing on the test server. And that is something that we could confirm. I personally am not an envoy, so I'm not allowed on the test server. And I'm not trying to grab somebody else's video and do all that stuff. That's not what I'm here for, dog. But what I am here to tell you is the great news. Nightcrawler is definitely going to be a one star unlock check out some other envoy videos if you do find yourself inclined to i'm not trying to pass other attention to other people or anything like that or try to drive you away or anything of that nature i just want to let you know that this is information that i'm so happy that it's confirmed that i want to just share with you so nightcrawler will be a one star unlock what's that mean well that means he's only 15 shards so if you end up opening some of the orbs of him now when he does come into the game i will tell you I don't know if his orb is going to drop in the game the way it usually does with the game. Hopefully it does if that's the case. Hey, we just spent some power cores and we all unlock Nightcrawler. We just got to save up like 3,000 cores and we're set, right? We cool. We'll see what's going on. At the end of the day, we know December 15th at 1 p.m. PST, Nightcrawler enters the game. Get this character telling you this is the one baby get this character he has a nasty kit i've seen it through and through i haven't been able to play with it obviously but just from the initial highlights of what it is this man can do in the game you're gonna want him on your team baby i'm telling you you're gonna want him all right so then we're also gonna cover exactly what the other characters unlock stars are looking like so as far as sunspot sunspot's going to be a 45 shard unlock which means he's going to be a two star unlock character pretty and easy to unlock not nearly as easy as nightcrawler but at the same time that's phenomenal we don't have to put so much effort into getting these characters however turns out forge will be a 100 shard unlock he's going to be a three star character it is what it is we, they had to have one of them right hey we got a nightcrawler at one star i don't think we can have any room to be picky <laughs> about how we gonna get these other characters and what the star level look like all right at the end of the day nightcrawler is the one star we got sunspot the two star and then we got forward to the three star so no big deal there with the unlocks i'm so excited to see when they do come into the game they did say that the initial 
next update is going to be rolling out next week now with that update we're going to end up seeing cyclops's kit completely reworked same with gambit um we're going to see those initial characters in the game as far as nightcrawler sunshot as well as um forge we're going to see all those characters in game that way we can read through the kits and things like that i'm really excited for that um on top of that keep an eye out in game because ghost rider robbie is going to be making his way to the crucible store speaking of characters making their way to the store i talked about this last video green goblin classic was supposed to be going into the elite store now i'm not saying he hasn't gone into the elite store i'm just saying he hasn't gone into the elite store for me all right i have had this damn store restarted about six different times between now and me recording this video baby dog what the it has not one time not a single solitary time have i seen green goblin classic appear on mine bro now i don't understand what's going on i need this character i got him at two red stars bro and i am chilling looking foolish bro <laughs> like i don't understand do i even have him at two stars let me see yeah i got him at two stars but i got him at four yellow stars bro give me the ability to upgrade i've been saving up these dark promotion credits just for this dude bro where is my green goblin classic i need him in my elite store msf what's going on anyway baby i just want to move on there's just one more thing i want to touch on here in this blog before we move on they did have a character poll baby so here's the thing mercs for money lady deadpool and Deadpool and Panda Pool, you already know. You already know we getting Panda Pool, dog. This is a done deal. They did this literally so they had a reason to just put Panda Pool in the game. They knew there is no way in hell that the majority of the MSF community was going to be like two new females or a panda. Dog, stop stop especially because they're deadpool they're just more deadpool variants we don't need more deadpool variants and if you are gonna just sh make deadpool variant and make the community have to deal with more deadpool variants that's fine but just make them their own team give deadpool his own squad bro because this is just weird i don't need another like why were there two other female versions of deadpool i'm not mad that they're females that's not the issue they're just more deadpool variants like we already have gwenpool we already have deathpool why do we need two other choices of female deadpool characters in the game we know we picking the panda <laughs> like i feel like they did this just because they knew that was just stupid and they just they just wanted us to just have a reason to be like all right we're getting the panda we know we're getting panda pool come on it's a done deal dog so if you if you gonna vote vote for the panda if you're not gonna vote have fun and getting a panda i'm just gonna let you know you getting a panda <laughs> all right last thing as well i know i said last thing this is last thing as well we're gonna also have the x-force frostbite if you do not have sinister six upgraded or you planning on upgrading them but your doc ock isn't where it needs to be no big deal we cool because we're gonna have the x-force frostbite this is gonna give you the ability to have a whole bunch of different character shards you're gonna to have domino character shards you're gonna have death pool character shards you're gonna also have the ability excuse me not death pool this is where deadpool is available in here and then you're gonna be able to have some gold orb fragments some training orb fragments just two orbs really msf two this is, this is terrible <laughs> so i love I, hey, yo, i'm i like the game i'm chill i love the game we need more training materials y'all what's good come on dog i know i'm not the only ones complaining about this man where are the training materials at y'all doing good with the gold y'all doing good with the gold but they work hand in hand baby i can't upgrade if i don't have the training materials it's just not working anyway that's really what we wanted to cover here in this video um i just wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about the blog get us prepared for next week but yo what i will tell you is start saving up your gold again because they they did this to us we have to now hoard again that is what it is we hoarding so save up any gold that you're not using all your gold orbs just keep them just keep them locked away if you're not going to use the gold, keep the gold or it's locked away. Um, and then on top of that, start saving up some campaign energy because you know they're going to start dropping some campaign energy joints. And if anything, I just want to go up to the very, very top here. 
so they're gonna say start using ice away campaign energy right so that's on top of playing cosmic crucible so just know this is a hoarding game again they tried to give the narrative that it's not a hoarding game baby but hey you gotta hoard to succeed around here and that's just the way it is so at the end of the day get excited get pumped we about to get extreme x-men in this joint you already know nightcrawler is a one star unlock bro that is phenomenal i'm so pumped up for it, baby get ready december 15th is the release dog if you enjoyed the content that you got to check out here with the boy or if you learned something new make sure you're hitting up that like as well as the subscription dog i do multiple different msf videos throughout the week as well as professional wrestling content interviews live joints as well so hey oh before i go if you stayed all the way to the end this is where i need you to send me up with a comment in the bottom joint all right i'm going to start streaming msf on twitch what i want you guys to do is if you are going to be willing to watch your boy and you've been able to sit here through this past 15 minute joint clearly you would watch me for a certain amount of time right hey if you could Hit up the comments, bro. Let me know you're here. Let me know you're watching, baby, so I know what I'm looking at heading into the Twitch joint. So, hey, until next time, this has been your boy, John Johnson, kicking it straight out of King Slayer Gaming. You know what it is. Mm -hmm.